Thank you very much. Well, I had been working in this field 50, almost 50 years, so I have a lot of material. This paper is going to talk about only uh, about the telenovela, a model for social change. But I have here clips from all the telenovelas that I've done in Britain, and uh, if, there's, uh, if there's time later, we can see it. But now I'm going to present only the, 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 the methodology. Okay. Well, before anything, I would like to express my gratitude for the invitation to participate in this international conference. It is a great honor and a great satisfaction to be here today. When I saw the title of the conference, it's not only entertainment. My heart jolted, and I will tell you why. When in 1967, as a professional writer and producer, I realized that popular communication formats, such as comic books, telenovelas, and radio novelas, were really acquiring a very impressive reach and their audience was constantly and repeatedly voluntarily exposed to them. Then I decided to implement an idea that seemed to be able to be extremely beneficial for readers, radio listeners, and TV viewers, to change the way in which intellectual messages were conveyed, to make them more dramatic, and to include them in the plots of these popular formats. It was 40 years ago. So I began with comic books in a weekly yellow, very yellow <laughs> magazine. Uh, I included slightly the intellectual message in the dramatic stories for readers to know about and attend to the services provided by the Mexican Institute of Social Security. Results were astonishing. In only three issues, research proved that the confidence index in those services had increased dramatically. Encouraged by these results and being a professional playwright and producer, I proposed the production of a telenovela to reinforce one value, pride for the country. I wrote then the first historic telenovela in the history of television of Mexico, La Tormenta, The Storm. Results were amazing. Even 40 years after, people still ask me about the main character and ask me to write history telenovelas again. Even more encouraged by it, in 1974, with my, method, uh, with my methodology already complete, I decided to apply it to a social problem that goes very much along the purposes of this conference, adult education. I designed, co-wrote with Celia Alcantara, the great scriptwriter of Simplemente Maria, and produced Ven Conmigo, Come With Me. The first commercial telenovela in the world that dealt with a social problem from a theoretical framework based on several theories, the communication theory, the dramatic theory, and my own theory of the tone in human communications. Results again were astounding. More than half a million adults enrolled in the national program for adult education of the Ministry of Public Education in Mexico. The telenovela effort lasted for eight months with an impressive average rating of 32 points. My enthusiasm grew even bigger, and I decided to embark on a more ambitious adventure to tackle one of the most severe problem Mexico suffered at the time uh, it was population growth. Thus to the magnitude due excuse me, due to the magnitude of the problem, thought a major effort was called for, and I planned three back to back telenovelas, Acompáñame, Vamos Juntos and Caminemos, as documented by PCI. Uh, these telenovelas were the determining factor 
for what the UN called the Mexican demographic miracle that dropped population growth in my country from 3.7 to 2.4 in the five-year period that the telenovelas were broadcast. In these telenovelas, I enriched the theoretical framework with Dr. Albert Bandura's social learning theory. Like I said at the beginning, the title of this conference made my heart jolt. Telenovela is not only entertainment, but a factor for social change. It is only natural. If we think that commercial ads try to teach the audience a behavior, learn to drink Coca-Cola, learn to use Ajax detergent, and their audiences learn it, then I figure that if the audience learns during commercial the biting identification role models, why are they going to stop learning during the plots of the telenovelas if they are based on displaying identification characters? I would like to share with you in a nutshell how is that I created my methodology known now as entertainment education, baptized by Patrick Coleman from the Johns Hopkins University and my very, very dear friend, Everett Rogers. It was short for what I originally called the proven social use of mass media. I have to say that to me, the key word is proven, proven. For the network I work for to allow me to produce this type of projects in Mexico commercial television, I had to maintain the time slot rating and to prove that it really had a social effect. My methodology consists, as I said before, in turning the message to be delivered from a totally intellectual format to an identifying format with a very intense dramatic tone, which is repeated daily for six or eight months. It then allows a slow learning process of socially beneficial behavior by the audience cut by this intense tone. I don't want to bore you with the entire technical, social, scientific, psychological, or product production details. They are very well documented in several books written about my methodology. You can find them <coughs> in Amazon.com uh, as entertainment education. And I, here you have this book uh, that we, we, we edited Arvin Singer, that is here, Michael Cody from Annenberg School of Communication, Everett Rogers and Miguel Savido. It's very easy to, to get it in Amazon, and it's very complete, really. Uh, uh, well, uh, I don't want to bore you with the entire technical, social, scientific, psychological, or production details. They are, very, they are very well documented in several books written about the methodology. You can find them in Amazon.com as entertainment education. So I will give you just a general review. I first up a hypothesis such as it is possible that the target group within the whole telenovela audience for an adult education program and enroll in it to finish its elementary school cycle. A three-column table is formed. One, theoretical framework said hypothesis is set based in four theories. My own theory of the tone, it allows me to change the tone of the message from an intellectual to a very emotional one. B. The theory of social learning by my dear, dear friend, Dr. Albert Bandura. It provides the steps for a person to learn through a vicarious experience. C. The theory of communication by Wilbur Schramm, of whom I consider myself disciple, combined with my own model of double communication circuit. It enables us to establish 
who the communicator is and who the receiver, the receiver are and what the medium is or should be and what the tone should be to achieve the best communication possible with that audience. The table of psychological archetypes stemming from a theory of the tone to be able to turn the members of the target audience that we expect to learn a socially beneficial behavior into telenovela characters. <laughs>